three tips for a beginner PMU artist. Tip number one is taking a training with a reputable trainer. It should be somebody who you have been following for some time. Make sure to compare their work with all the possible options, all the possible options of the trainers that you have in mind and compare their work details in microscopic detailing. Uh, make sure that you have checked their stroke patterns, make, che make sure that you have checked their shading and mapping patterns, uh, make sure that you find their work natural looking because what they are creating is what you will learn. You cannot learn in the beginning something which is better than your trainer's work. So make sure that you are going to somebody whose work you really really appreciate and you find it really natural looking. Number two is make sure that you're allocating enough time to practice right after learning a technique. So once you've learned a technique, make sure that you can find at least three to four hours per week to practice that technique. I like to tell my student that they must practice any part of the training in the browse, maybe be it strokes, be it shading, be it mapping, be it uh, paper practice, paper stroke practice, paper brow shape practice, they must find 30 to 45 minutes at least five days a week to practice uh, one aspect of the training. Also don't hesitate to take free clients or free models if you're not getting paying clients because once your work is getting excellent on those free models it will not become very hard to start attracting paying clients as well and tip number three is to stay really really consistent on social media people are so hooked to instagram these days if you post your entire journey from the very beginning from the point that you went to take a class to your practice lessons practice sessions to uh, taking your models and documenting every part of your journey in an aesthetic manner on your Instagram. People will really appreciate the genuineness of your journey. They will understand and relate with you. They will love you and probably one day they would really look forward to becoming your clients. Also don't hesitate to take free clients or free models if you're not getting paying clients because once your work is getting excellent on those free models, it will not become very hard to start attracting paying clients as well. So if you are a permanent makeup artist or a student or an expert, um, follow my Instagram handle Permanent Makeup Training India for a lot of tips and tricks related to microblading, lip blush, everything related to permanent makeup.